Now, I know in the previous video we just talked about how there was not a reliable difference between the different levels of rank, and therefore we shouldn't use an interaction between grants and rank. But I do want to go through a hypothetical scenario in order for you to know how to actually construct the regression line for these different groups. So let's say that this interaction was reliable from zero, and we are considering to use the separate slope models. How would we go about constructing the different fitted regression lines for different groups of rank? Let's go through and just discuss what the general fitted line would look like and then break it down by rank. So again, first, we just have our beta not, our beta for grants, our beta dummy for assistant, our beta dummy for associate, and our interaction between grants and our first dummy for assistant, as well as that additional beta for the interaction between grants and our second dummy associate. So let's go ahead and construct the fitted line for our first category of assistant. And we'll start off again with our beta not, our intercept. We'll then also have the raw beta for our dummy variable one. We'll also have the raw beta for our grants. And we'll have the additional intercept of our grants and dummy one. So what's gonna cancel out is our dummy two and the interaction of dummy two and grants. Now, this is gonna be the opposite case for associate, right? We're still gonna have our beta not. We're still gonna have the independent beta for our grants as well as our independent beta for dummy two, but we'll have that additional interaction between grants and dummy two. Full, again, is the baseline category, so all of those additional variables cancel out, and we're left with just our beta not and the beta for our grants. Now that we've gone through exactly how to construct the fitted line for each of the values of rank, let's just go ahead and pull those coefficients from the estimates that we get from our LM function and R, store them, and manually construct the fitted lines. Now let's do this for assistant first. So what I've highlighted here in yellow are the things that we're gonna need in order to construct our y-intercept for the fitted line. And then the orange rows are the estimated coefficients that we're gonna need in order to construct our slope, right? So we can essentially just plug those values in from our regression table that we get with our estimated coefficients into the fitted line and just use ab line. So again, this is just creating a line using our intercept as well as our slope. And I've given it a specific color as well as line type, and that's LWD. We can do the same thing with rank for associate. Again, what we're pulling out here in the yellow are the values that we need in order to create the intercept of where the fitted line will cross the y-intercept at x equals zero. Then in the orange, again, we have the two values that we need in order to construct the slope of our fitted line, right? So this is the additional effect that may be seen for associates given a certain value of grant. And again, we're gonna create that using ab line in R. The only difference here that we're changing it to a different color and we can do the same thing with full. This will be much simpler, right? Because we know exactly what our intercept and our slope is. And we can plug that into R. So let's look at the final figure that we produce with those three different lines of code. And what we can see here is, again, that the parallel slopes assumption does seem to hold, right? There doesn't seem to be an indication that there is a separate effect of grant by different rank of professor.